so I have a sore throat a brewing that has not yet impacted my appetite. So Francisco brought home some Indian food and he got me a mango lassi and he put it in a wine glass so it looks like extra fancy mango lassi. But I started feeling sick yesterday, just like a tickle in my throat and I think it's definitely becoming a sore throat. Um, I was able to just work a half day today because it's Friday before Christmas so most people aren't working anyway but I've just been home on the computer editing some videos watching vlogmas the usual <laughs> coming down outside. I had to cancel Christmas on my parents since I wasn't feeling well and maybe that was a good thing with all this crazy snow that's coming down. Okay, I love it when you sweater mode the cats and they just snuggle up together and look at them leaning their faces together. It is so stinking cute. Francisco's making some ooey gooey butter cake. Ooey gooey butter cake. You know where you're at. Yeah. So festive. It's true. So Merry Christmas Eve. This is about the extent of my uh, festiveness. I'm wearing a red shirt and some wintry leggings and I also have a green undershirt on underneath here. Um, but yeah, I've been sick since Thursday and still feeling it. And I also have some tea that I'm drinking. It's like this buckwheat tea that my boss got in China when she was there like a couple of years ago at this point. So I've been trying this. It smells so weird. Um, it almost, it kind of tastes better than it smells. But it's still a really weird, like, savory tea. It is, it's 12, 16 on Christmas Eve, and yeah, I just don't feel Christmassy since I feel sick. And, um, I had to cancel on my parents because I didn't feel well. And, I mean, the reality is they just, they come down here, like, once or twice a year. So, I don't want to waste one of the rare visits I get with them here uh, when I'm not feeling well and then I don't want to get them sick and yeah so and obviously bedroom is a mess haven't made the bed yet today probably won't but yeah I don't think Francisco is doing a lot of cooking so I'm gonna go out there and just watch YouTube or something and maybe edit some videos um until he's done and then yeah I think I'm feeling zapped after or sapped sapped of energy but now I'm just, I need to go rest for a while. At least it stops moving after it hits something, right? Sure, once it collides with something else to make it stop. <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve, Bubba. Merry Christmas Eve, baby. I got you a small token present. You got me a small token present? For Christmas Eve. I'll see what you got. Because you apparently don't understand how Christmas Eve presents work. It's true. I'm bad at this game. Okay, so here's your little prezzy. Here's my little prezzy. Ooh. It's fancy. It's in a fancy little bag. Aww. That's pretty. I'm gonna use some snatch hats. That's real cute, baby. It's on both sides. That's real nice. It's us from Snapchats, and it's one of our favorite pictures of the kitties where they're standing there looking at the fireplace. <laughs> and the back of it is us in Iceland. That's beautiful, baby. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Yeah. I always love your ornament presents. You do? Yeah. You're very creative. 
I figured these presents are okay. a little nicer to give early because yeah. then you get a little bit more time to enjoy them before we put the tree down. Although, depending on when mom and dad come, we might be leaving it up for a while. Front and center. Very pretty. New ornament. I yeah, like it. That's very nice, honey. I like, you see how I, I split oh, yeah, that one into two good. pictures? Like so we're blowing each other a kiss like this. Why are you blowing a kiss over there? In case I'm getting sick. I love you. outside watching this bird up here it's still not getting very bright you can kind of see him up there What's wrong? you want to come out here yeah come on you where you get in trouble <laughs> too crazy there's too much craziness <laughs> what? Did you think you were just gonna jump yes. straight down? You gasped! Yes, I did. <laughs> Overprotective parent mode, right? You're such an overprotective parent. You were like, oh, my baby! <laughs> Don't make fun of me, I love my voice, okay? Wait, I just, so I gave Francisco his present, so I asked him for my Christmas Eve present if he could fix my light bulb that kept being weird. So he fixed it for me. Thank you, Bubba. Thank you, Bubba. Merry Christmas Eve. Okay, we're playing along with Rhett and Link and we're gonna play top three cuddling positions and we have to try and, and guess what the position is based on its description. So the first one was baby bear. So let's, let's cuddle like baby bear cuddle would be. Like I said, and then you sit between my legs. You think that's what it is? Like it. We'll bear do. We'll bear do this. One of these. Is this too intimate for professional cuddling? Bears kind of sleep on their side, so I feel like it would be kind of similar to a spoon. Like, like lay down. Spoon, spoon? Yeah. But maybe like instead of wrapped around me, you're just laying down and then I'm laying down. Okay. But we're not spooning, boat. like. So let's see what it is. Baby bear. Baby bear. We gotta make a decision who's gonna be the baby bear. Who's gonna be the mama bear? Okay, that's actual baby bear. I would play. Baby Francisco is close. The next one is the pretzel. Where should I put the camera? What if I put it here? Okay, our cuddle position is the pretzel. So let's do. What are we doing? I'm gonna do. So I have one. Leg in between, then one leg on top, and then just kidding. Think I like that. I could see that. There's a lot going on. I can't tell whose head goes with whose body. I know, so I'm gonna guide you. That's through the pretzel. It, so.